Hello and welcome to In Depth, a show that gives you a 360 degree view of a subject or an issue. Today we turn our focus on the proposal to hold simultaneous elections in the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and senior BJP leaders are of the view that simultaneous assembly and general elections are needed to push development. The Prime Minister says it's important to implement the decision because a lot of financial and human resources are used up in frequent elections. In the next 30 minutes, we'll take a closer look at the concept and the viability of one nation, one election. The idea of holding elections simultaneously to the Lok Sabha and State Legislative Assemblies recently got a push from Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Arguing the point, the Prime Minister said frequent elections are putting an enormous pressure on the exchequer and also hurt the federal structure of the country as leaders are forced to talk politically. The BJP has gone into a huddle to push for the idea of one nation, one election. Party President Amit Shah hosted a meeting of all its chief ministers and deputy chief ministers to find ways to deliver on the idea. Opposition parties, however, have negated the idea on grounds of feasibility. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been a strong advocate of simultaneous polls. He recently said that the festival of democracy should be celebrated like any other festival once a year. He says that with elections spread out, the nation is constantly in election mode. The Prime Minister warns that all polls, Lok Sabha, Assembly, Civic and Panchayat should be held at the same time. Kendra or Rajyo mein एक साथ चुनाव कराने का बीते कुछ समय से इस पर देश में चर्चा प्रारंभ हुई है कुछ राजनीतिक दलों ने भी हर चार छह महीने पर होने वाले चुनावों की वजह से देश पर जो आर्थिक बोझ पड़ रहा है संसाधनों पर जो दबाव पड़ता है उस पर चिंता जताई थी However, the idea has not found resonance in political circles. The Congress Party, the Trinamool Congress, the Rashtriya Janta Dal, the Bahujan Samaj Party and the Samajwadi Party say the idea is not practical. The Constitution of India does not give a fixed term to any government. So unless you amend the Constitution, you cannot have simultaneous elections. Germany has elections in states at different times. So in a parliamentary democracy, especially when we have 30 states, in a parliamentary democracy, under the present constitution, you cannot have simultaneous election. You could artificially construct an appearance of a simultaneous election by preponing some, postponing some. But you can do that maybe with parliament election in five or six states. How can you do it for 30 states? They are uh, talking about one nation, one election, keeping in view the forthcoming elections in uh, states, particularly in BJP ruled states, and forthcoming uh, parliament uh, elections, what uh, hollow promises they are going to make. We will have to wait and see. Time and again, one nation, one election, one nation, one tax. First of all, I find this government heavily, hugely obsessed with the idea of one. That is against the very diversity of the federal scheme. Now, let me, let me put a poser to Econ uh, election commission. So, in last so many years, you have not been able to conduct single phase election in large number of states. Where, um, where we have seen probably the capacity of the election commission, probably a lot many other factors. So, where does this come from? Simply for an idea that one nation, one election sounds good. According to the election commission, elections to the Lok Sabha and all assemblies cost the exchequer around 4,500 crore rupees. For the 2014 general elections alone, 3,500 crore rupees was spent. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha TV. The idea of simultaneous elections in India is nothing new. From 1952 to 1967, elections to the Lok Sabha and various state assemblies were held simultaneously. The cycle was disrupted when several state assemblies were dissolved before their term, but over the years, Several recommendations have been made to the Election Commission, the Law Commission and also a parliamentary panel to hold general and assembly elections together.
एक साथ चुनाव कराने का एक अच्छा कर सकते बट इट इज नॉट प्रैक्टिकेबल चुनाव रहना मतलब देखिए दो तीन महीना काम पूरा बंद हो जाता है संविधान में ऐसी कोई व्यवस्था नहीं है कि सभी स्टेट्स और लोकसभा के चुनाव एक साथ हो अगर दोनों चुनाव साथ होते हैं तो ये अच्छी बात है Debate over election reforms in India is ongoing. Part of the debate is the issue of conducting simultaneous elections, which means holding single elections for both Lok Sabha and states instead of separate and continuous elections. On an average, voting takes place in some part of the country every month. While this is an indication of a robust democracy, it also points at the massive expenditure of resources, time, and money. मेरे हिसाब से तो ये चीज होनी चाहिए, because अगर आप देखें तो सारी पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज जो हमारी है वो बिल्कुल 12 महीने अपना यही चुनावों में प्रचारों में एक दूसरे के ऊपर बोलने में ही लगी रहती है तो उससे थोड़ा काम जो देश का करना होता है उसमें दिक्कत आती है पैसा उल्टा और ज़्यादा खर्च होता है पूरी आपकी जो पुलिस फोर्स है आई ए ऑफिसर्स है आर्मी है इसमें ही लगी रहती है तो मेरे हिसाब से अगर किसी तरीके से ऐसी चीज़ हो जाए जिसमें एक बार ही सारे अपने विधानसभा लोकसभा म्यूनिसपल इन सब के इलेक्शन साथ में ही हो जाए The question is when the tenure of both the Lok Sabha and state assemblies is 5 years then why can't elections be conducted simultaneously The answer lies in political instability According to the constitution an assembly can be dissolved if a ruling government loses majority before completing its term of 5 years Once the assembly dissolves it is mandatory to conduct elections within the next 6 months This is where states go their separate ways on the issue of poll timing हमारे जो संविधान है संविधान कहता है कि हम जिसको अपना रिप्रेजेंटेटिव चुनते हैं उसको हम कभी भी हटा सकते हैं उसको हमारे पास दो तरह की ताकत होती है एक तो डेली बेसिस पे और एक पावर होती है कि उसको पाँच साल के बाद हम उसको उखाड़ फेंक सकते हैं उसको बदल सकते हैं अगर जो वो हमारे अनुरूप खरा नहीं उतरता है तो तो इस तरह का हमारा सेटअप है ये डेमोक्रेटिक सेटअप साइमल्टेनियस इलेक्शन इन दंट्री फ्रॉम बट विद मेनी स्टेट असेंबलीज डिजोल्विंग बिफोर टर्म एंड माइनॉरिटी गवर्नमेंट एट द सेंटर फेलिंग टू कम्प्लीट दर टेन योर द प्रोसेस वॉज ऑल्टर्ड सिंस मेनी ऑफ द लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज वर डिजोल्व एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स यूनिफॉर्मिटी इन द टेन योर वॉज लॉस्ट विद मोहम्मद फतेह टीपू एंड जैगम मुर्तजा ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट Simultaneous elections to the Lok Sabha and state assemblies have many benefits. Experts say the idea of one nation, one election is no doubt a good one, but they also caution about the challenges that have to be overcome before the idea can be implemented. Let's find out what are these challenges in this report. The next Lok Sabha elections are scheduled in 2019. Several states are going to polls in the run up to the general elections next year. Many of these state assemblies would not have completed even half of their 5 year term during that time. In such a scenario, how can simultaneous state and Lok Sabha elections be held? The only realistic solution to this scenario is to alter the duration of the assemblies and the Lok Sabha. But would this be feasible? There are several considerations. जैसे प्रधानमंत्री ने कहा है देश भर में चर्चा होनी चाहिए लोग अपने पॉइंट्स व्यू दें समझें इसके बारे में क्योंकि आप देखेंगे भारत में चुनाव की प्रक्रिया जो है जो शुरू में हुई थी दशक पचास में साठ में और अब में एकदम फ़र्क हो गया है पहले हर पाँच साल में चुनाव होता था लोकसभा का और सभी राज्य विधानसभा का फिर धीरे धीरे वो बदलते गया है हमारी प्रणाली में सिस्टम में निर्वाचन का बहुत महत्व रखता है मगर गवर्नेंस में केवल निर्वाचन नहीं होती है सरकारों को समय भी मिलना चाहिए काम करने का अगर सरकारें साल भर लगी रहें केवल निर्वाचन में तो बाकी जो आम कार्य उसमें जो बाधा पहुंचती है The Chief Election Commissioner has already clarified that the Apex Poll Body is ready to hold simultaneous polls if there is agreement among various political parties. But that is easier said than done in a multi-party democracy like India. Congress along with several opposition parties have already expressed their reservations about the practicality of this proposal. They argue that not only will several state assemblies have to be prematurely dissolved, the Lok Sabha term will also have to be altered. The parties say in the present situation this is not possible. Hamare desh ke liye bhi acha hoga kyunki resources ek jagah हमारे यहाँ पर हो रही है कि रिसोर्सेज कभी कभी ख़त्म हो जाती हैं दूसरे इलेक्शन के लिए दी नहीं जाती तो बेहतर होएगा अगर उसको एक ही जगह करके हम एक 
साइमल्टेनियस जो हमारा एक प्रक्रिया चल रही थी उसको हम चेंज करके वी ट्रांजेक्शन इन टू अ मच बेटर यूनिफाइड वे ऑफ इलेक्शन अगर हम बार बार चुनाव कराते हैं चाहे वो नेशनल लेवल पे हैं चाहे स्टेट लेवल पे हैं या पंचायत लेवल पे हैं इससे देखिए सारी ब्यूरोक्रेसी ऊपर नीचे हो जाती है सारे विकास के कार्य रुक जाते हैं और बहुत खर्चा होता है इससे अच्छा और तरीका क्या होगा कि हम जो हैं एक चुनाव जो है एक बारी में ही साल में कराएं अनदर आर्ग्यूमेंट अगेंस्ट प्रपोजल इज दैट दो द एक्सरसाइज विल सेव टाइम इट वोट ब्रिंग डाउन पोल एक्सपेंडिचर द इलेक्शन कमीशन विल हैव टू इनक एक्सपेंसिस टू द ट्यून ऑफ नियरली टू थाउजेंड करोर रुपीज फॉर ई वी एम एंड वी वी पैट्स टू होल्ड साइमल्टेनियस पोल्स दीज मशीन है शेल्फ लाइफ ऑफ फिफ्टीन ईयर्स विच मीन्स दैट एवरी थ्री टू फोर ईयर्स दीज मशीन विल हैव टू बी रिप्लेसड replacing the machines every 15 years will be a costly recurring expense the niti ayog has created a draft report over the proposal in this regard it is proposed holding side by side polls to the center and states in two phases from 2024 the ayog report cites national interest in clubbing the two elections jo kai bari najaiz chunav hote hain wo 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 usko usko tarika ye hona chahiye ki unko ruka jaye main aaj एक इलेक्टेड एम एल मुझे कोई पार्टी टिकट देती है कि आप एमपी बन जाइए तो मैं ऑलरेडी एक ही तरह का काम कर रहा हूँ एम एल होकर भी मैं वही काम कर रहा हूँ उसी तरह का, का काम मैं एमपी बनके भी करूँगा लेकिन मैं एक सीट को छोड़ के जब दूसरी सीट की तरफ जाता हूँ और जब वो वैकेंट सीट हो जाती है उसके ऊपर चुनाव का जो बोझ पड़ता है तरीका यह होना चाहिए कि उसको कम किया जाए The Niti Aayog has recommended completing the first phase of the proposal along with the election to the 17th Lok Sabha in 2019 and the second in 2021 in the middle of the term of the 17th Lok Sabha. The Aayog has said that for this the term of some assemblies can be extended and some can be cut. It has made the election commission the nodal agency to look into the suggestion and set a timeline of March 2018 for this purpose. The law commission had in 1999 in its 170th report suggested holding simultaneous elections. Those opposed to the proposal say that the Indian voter is not informed enough to be able to exercise his or her choice correctly through two EVMs at the same time. They say that in such a condition the party winning the Lok Sabha polls will also end up winning the state elections. With Mohammad Fateh Tipu and Zaga Murtaza. Bureau report Rajya Sabha TV. And we'll take a very short break here on the program. Don't go anywhere. This week we will discuss China's increasing presence in the Indian Ocean region. One of the main drivers is China's image of itself as a major world power. Indian Navy is trying to increase its presence in the region, but is that enough? Strengthening of uh, the Andamans and Lakshadweep are the two things that we should be doing. I think if China has to really be counted in the Indian Ocean space, we have to make our presence felt in the in the South China Sea. One of the good things that the government has done, for example, is to make sure that we will not have any more treaties, any more MOUs. We will first uh, finish those projects that are in the pipeline. President Ashraf Ghani offers peace talks with Taliban. Has Afghanistan run out of options? Is amnesty for war crimes the only solution? Mainstreaming Afghan Taliban on the big picture at 6:30 and 9:30 p.m. Welcome back after the break you're watching in depth our focus is on the subject one nation one election to implement the idea one nation one election the government has to develop a consensus on the issue well it did push ahead with the proposal as a first step but the parliamentary committee meeting held in january to discuss the idea remained inconclusive opposition parties pointed out a series of hurdles the foremost being bringing about extensive amendments to the constitution representation of the people's act and other relevant laws 
After the 2012 US presidential polls, the 2014 general election was the second most expensive election in the world. According to a study by a center of media studies, an estimated 30 crore rupees were spent by political parties in this election. This indicates how the election process is getting more and more expensive and how the burden is increasing not only on the official treasury but also on political parties and candidates. Repeated elections also affect the normal functioning of the government. Three-tier democracy system. A lower level, pe, ground root level, pe hai, uh, gram panchayat and municipalities. This is ground level. Pe hai. उसके बाद स्टेट लेवल की डेमोक्रेसी है जिसमें कि स्टेट असेंबलीज हैं उसके बाद पार्लियामेंट्री इलेक्शंस हैं तो ये थ्री टायर सिस्टम हमारे यहां है तो अब जो बातें चल रही हैं वो स्टेट असेंबलीज और पार्लियामेंट्री इलेक्शंस की बातें चल रही हैं कि उनको एक साथ कराया जाए Simultaneous elections in this regard would bring about significant savings in public money that could be used for development works Expenses of political parties that spend crores of rupees to win over voters will also be brought under control and help in reducing the role of black money in election funding. The imposition of the election code of conduct puts government schemes on hold. If all elections are held in a particular year, it will give political parties minimum four years to focus on good governance. Simultaneous elections will further reduce manpower and resource deployment necessary for the conduct of elections. While there are many advantages, the implementation of election reform needs amendments in the constitution. पूर्ण रूप से पूर्ण रूप से खर्चे में कमी आएगी। लेकिन जहाँ तक डेमोक्रेसी का सवाल है, खर्चा साइडलाइन ले लेता है, पीछे हट जाता है। डेमोक्रेसी बहुत महंगा सिस्टम है। जो हमारा डेमोक्रेटिक प्रोसेस है, ये बहुत महंगा प्रोसेस है। और हमने इसको जानबूझ के अडॉप्ट किया है। ये ये नहीं है कि ये हमारे ऊपर किसी ने थोपा है। ये हमने खुद माना है कि हम we will follow democratic system. Constitutional changes needed to ensure simultaneous elections include an amendment in Article 83 that deals with the duration of Houses of Parliament, along with Article 85 on the dissolution of Lok Sabha by the President. Amendments will also be needed in Article 172 relating to the duration of state legislatures and in Article 174 that relates to the dissolution of state assemblies and Article 356 on President's rule. For this, two-thirds majority is needed in Parliament. A political consensus also needs to be built on the dissolution of state assemblies before the completion of their terms and putting on hold elections in assemblies whose tenure is nearing completion. Vineet Dixit and Zegam Murtaza's report for Rajya Sabha TV. And let's now listen in to what speakers of various state assemblies have to say about simultaneous elections across the country. India is the world's largest democracy and free and fair elections are integral to it. But elections are a big budget exercise in the country. However, since 1952, elections have been conducted efficiently in the country, indicating that democracy has been strengthened. Elections in independent India were held for the first time in 1951-52. At that time, simultaneous elections were held for the Lok Sabha and all state legislative assemblies. The practice was followed in three subsequent elections in 1957, 1962 and 1967. But in 1968 and 1969, the cycle got disrupted due to the premature dissolution of some legislative assemblies. Similarly, in the year 1970, the Lok Sabha got dissolved prematurely. The Law Commission of India recommended simultaneous elections to Lok Sabha and state assemblies in its 170th report in 1999. In 2015, the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Personnel, Public Grievances, Law and Justice also gave a report in favour of holding simultaneous elections. The committee noted that conducting simultaneous elections to Lok Sabha and state assemblies would reduce the massive expenditure that is currently incurred for conducting polls separately. It would also remove policy paralysis that results from the imposition of the model code of conduct during election time impacting the delivery of essential services. 
Further, it would also lessen the burden of crucial manpower that is deployed during election time. The Parliamentary Committee also recommended an alternative and practical method of holding simultaneous elections, which involves holding them in two phases. It suggested that the first phase of elections be held halfway into the term of the Lok Sabha for some assemblies and at the end of the term for the rest of the assemblies. Their idea was that elections to all state assemblies whose terms end prior to or after a time period of six months to one year from the appointed election date can be clubbed together. It also proposed that terms of current assemblies be curtailed or extended to align with the new simultaneous elections cycle. The Election Commission has also extended its in-principle support for simultaneous polls in the country. The poll panel suggested that the term of Lok Sabha could commence and end on predetermined dates. To avoid premature dissolution, no confidence motions should be moved simultaneously with a confidence motion for the individual hoping to be the next Prime Minister. If the House is still dissolved, the President can run the government for the rest of the term. If that period is long, fresh elections can be held for a House that would last only for the remaining length of time. Assemblies can, as a one-time measure, be extended or curtailed to align their elections with the Lok Sabha cycle. The speakers of several state assemblies have supported the idea of simultaneous elections. One is less in the government's cost. The other is the time of the Chunao, the time of the time of the Chunao, when the time of the time of the Chunao, when the time of the Chunao is the time of the Chunao, उसके बाद से इतने तरह के प्रतिबंध या बंधन आम जीवन पर भी लग जाते हैं कि आम जीवन भी अस्त व्यस्त हो जाता है ये सारा साल भर चुनाव रहता है ये देश के लिए जो चुनाव रहना मतलब देखिए दो तीन महीना काम पूरा बंद हो जाता है तो इसके लिए पैसा भी बहुत खर्चा होता है तो इसलिए ये बहुत अच्छा उनका जो प्रयास है तो मैं पूरा सपोर्ट देता हूँ। But there are also those who say simultaneous elections is not a practical idea. एक अच्छा कॉन्सेप्ट है, but it is not practicable, practicable because आप जम्मू कश्मीर या मैं अपनी स्टेट की बात करूँगा, सेंटर और स्टेट में हम एक साथ इलेक्शन कराए और उसके एक साल के बाद हुकूमत कलेप्स हो जाए, क्या चार साल आप गवर्नर राज रख सकते हो वहाँ? Under governor rule कर कर सकते हो? And this is to my mind is bit difficult क्योंकि there are certain areas where atmosphere either due to weather or due to other problems is not conducive. वैसे देखा जाए सांसदिक दृष्टि से पूरे लोकसभा विधानसभाओं के चुनाव एक साथ हों उसमें खर्चा बचेगा सांसदिक रूप से ठीक है लेकिन क्या प्रैक्टिकल ऐसा संभव है ये हमको विचार करना पड़ेगा। दोस्त वो इन द वर्ल्ड जब होल्डिंग इलेक्शन, ऑफ कोर्स वे कैन दे कैन बी सेन अ मर्ज टुगेदर। पर द वायरस जो आपका जस्ट एक साल हुए हैं, ओनली वन इयर after election, it is very difficult to again come to good to good result. A number of countries like Italy, Belgium, and Sweden conduct general and local elections together. But implementing it in India would be difficult because primarily a constitutional amendment will be needed. Critics say amending the constitution to effect simultaneous polls would fundamentally alter its democratic and federal character. Therefore, it would be difficult to bring all parties to agree on the proposal. With inputs from Vineet Dikshit, Bureau Report for Rajya Sabha TV. And that's all we have for you in this edition of In-Depth. Thanks for watching.